What's up guys, this is Gerard, back to you with another tutorial video on taxation. So on this video, I'm going to be talking about donor's tax here in the Philippines. So on this video, I'm going to be defining what donation is and donor stacks, and then discuss some concepts related to donor stacks, and then give you an illustrative problem on how to compute donor stacks and the BIR form and the deadline for filing. So let's try to define first what donation is. So donation, according to the civil code, is an act of liberality whereby a person disposes gratuitously of a thing or a right in favor of another who accepts it. So essentially, the donation that we are talking about here is donation inter vivos, or a type of donation wherein transfer of property occurs during the lifetime of the donor. Conversely, under donation mortis causa, the transfer of property occurs upon the death of the donor. Now, in effect, the tax will be estate tax. So I have a separate video talking about estate tax and I'll link it right here and also in the description below. So donor's tax is a tax on a donation or gift and is imposed on the gratuitous transfer of property between two or more persons who are living at the same time of the transfer. It shall apply whether the transfer is in trust or otherwise, whether the gift is direct or indirect, and whether the property is real or personal, tangible or intangible. So donor's tax cannot apply unless or until there is a completed gift. Now, the perfection of donation is when the donor knows about the acceptance of the donee. It is completed by the delivery of the thing, either actual or constructive. But do note if the property is real or immovable, it should be in a public instrument. Now, in addition, take note of Revenue Memorandum Number 15-2020, which updates the procedures in the acceptance of property donations to the Bureau of Internal Revenue pursuant to Revenue Delegations Authority Order Number 4-2010 as amended by RDAO Number 4-2019 dated July 31, 2019. Now the valuation of the donated property shall be the fair market value at the time of donation. Now if the property is real or immovable, it shall be the higher between the BIR assessed value or the fair market value as determined by the local, which is the provincial, or the city assessor. Now, because of the update of train law, we do not determine anymore the relationship between the donor and the donee if they are strangers or relatives. And the computation of donor tax has been simplified. It is now 6% based on the total net gift in excess of 250 exempt gift made during the calendar year. So when we say net gift, it shall mean the net economic benefit from the transfer that accrues to the donee. So say for example, a donor gifted a mortgage property and imposing the mortgage liability to the donee. The net gift shall be computed by deducting from the fair market value the amount of mortgage assumed. Now for us to understand this, let's go to our illustrative problem. So donations were made on January 30 for 2 million, on March 30, 1 million, and August 15, 500,000. So in computing the donor stacks, let's have first January. So the donation is 2 million. Now we will be deducting 250. So our taxable donation is 1,750. Multiply that with 6%. So our donor tax for January is 105,000. So continuing on March 30, the donation made is 1 million. So we will be adding the January donation, which is 2 million, and then deducting your exempt gift, which is 250,000. So we'll have 2,750,000. Now tax due thereon is 165,000. But take note, we have already paid donor's tax for the January donation, which is 105,000. So tax due or payable on the March donation is 60,000. So let's go to the third donation, which is on August 15, 500,000. So we will be adding the January donation of 2 million along with the March donation, which is 1 million. And then again, we will be deducting the exempted gift, which is 250,000, the total of which would be 3,250,000. And again, tax due thereon shall be 195,000. But take note, we will be deducting already the tax due or paid representing January and March donation, which is 165,000. So tax due or payable on the August donation shall be 
30,000. So you can read more of the updates of donors tax with Revenue Regulations 12-2018. So using BIR Form 1800, the filing of donors tax shall be within 30 days when the gift is made or completed. Lastly, I included the list of exempted gifts. Now I made a separate video talking about charitable and other contributions and I'll also link it here. And that's it. So if you found this video very helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to help you improve your skills and knowledge in taxation. Lastly, if you haven't yet already, hit that notification bell so you won't miss any tax tutorials. So this is Gerard. Have a great day.